Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a quick look at this Kodiak 13-inch hub and rotor disc brake assembly set. This is going to allow you to upgrade your trailer from drum brakes to disc brakes uh, so that you can take advantage of the superior performance that comes along with having disc brakes. Or if you already have disc brakes on your trailer, you're wanting a higher quality finish. These do have the dechromate finish and that's going to be a great upgrade for you as well. Having the two brake assemblies is going to allow you to upgrade a single 8,000 pound capacity Alco or quality type axle with the number 42 spindles. Our rotors are 13 inches in diameter and as you can see we have the 8 9 16 inch diameter wheel bolts for the 8 on 6 and a half inch bolt pattern. So these are going to work for your wheels that are 16 inches and larger. Having the dechromate finish on our uh, hubs and rotors as well as our uh, calipers and our caliper mounting brackets is going to provide excellent rust and corrosion resistance and it's going to have a 300 to 400 hour salt spray rating so it is going to be great for your boat trailers or trailers that are used in coastal areas or on heavily treated roads. Uh, if you're looking at your good, better, best kind of scenario, uh, dechromate finish is a Probably the second best in my mind. Uh, the only thing I know that's better is a stainless steel construction. Uh, so if you're wanting that high quality uh, without paying that top of the line uh, price range, this is going to do a great job for you. Definitely going to be a great option if you're going to be uh, in those kind of corrosive environments frequently. And if you're upgrading from drum brakes to disc brakes, you are going to notice a great uh, performance in, uh, improvement. Uh, these are going to have these ceramic brake pads that will uh, increase your stopping power. There's also a large two and a half inch diameter stainless steel piston that provides fast responsive braking. So it is going to dramatically shorten your stopping distance. It's also going to provide a smoother, more controlled uh, braking experience for you. So it's gonna help keep your trailer from pushing and pulling like you're probably used to with your drum brakes. And in addition to better performance, these are also going to require less maintenance than your drum brakes. So it's gonna help save you time and money over the long run. Uh, having the one piece hub and rotor assembly is gonna reduce the chance of uneven rotor wear. And here on the side, you can see we do have this vented design that's gonna help dissipate heat faster to prevent premature brake pad wear. Now your brake pads will wear down over time and will need to be replaced, but that's a pretty straightforward process and those are really the only components that will need to be replaced. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot fewer than your all the springs and other small um, mechanisms in your drum brake, so it is gonna uh, be much less maintenance for you. And these are a nice high quality automotive automotive grade construction, so they are going to be very long lasting. The one caveat if you're upgrading from drum brakes to disc brakes is that disc brakes do require a higher line pressure than your drum brakes. So you're going to need to make sure that you've got a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines that are rated for 1500 PSI or higher in order to activate your disc brakes. Uh, so if your trailer set up for drum brakes, it might take some doing to convert everything over. Uh, if you don't already have a hydraulic brake actuator and brake lines, rated for that 1500 PSI. We do have them available here at eTrailer.com. Obviously it's not included in this kit, so this isn't gonna be everything that you need, but it is going to give you the two uh, dechromate plated cast iron hub and rotor assemblies with the eight pre-installed 9 16th inch diameter wheel bolts on each. You'll also get 16 of these 9 16th inch zinc plated steel lug nuts to hold your wheel in place. You've got the two uh, dechromate plated uh, cast iron calipers as well as the two uh, dechromate plated ductile iron caliper mounting brackets. And you can see these do have the four bolt brake flange configuration so they are going to be very easy to get mounted on your axle. And I do want to point out I've got these displayed on top just for balance purposes uh, but when you actually go to install these they're going to be mounted on the side. That side support design puts all the weight on the mounting bracket itself instead of on your bolts so it helps your bolts last longer. You're also going to get four of these stainless steel caliper mounting bolts, two for each side. Uh, we've got our inner and our outer races that are pre-installed here that are going to uh, give us the mounting points for our inner and our outer bearings. And we'll just fit right inside there, make sure everything's rotating smoothly. This system is lubricated with grease, so you're gonna have your two grease seals for the inside and then your two uh, Easy Lube grease caps on the outside. Uh, these Easy Lube caps have the rubber plug there that you can pull out if you've got an Easy Lube spindle. You can just easily hook up 
your grease gun, pump some grease in there, make sure everything's well lubricated. So again, uh, whether you're wanting to upgrade from drum brakes to disc brakes, or if you've already got disc brakes and you're wanting to have that decrement finish on there, these are going to be a great upgrade for you. That completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.